Alright, so... Uh... What's up, guys? Uh, so, I'm making this later in the day than I normally do. Well, actually, that's not true at all. I don't know why I said that. But uh, I, I tried to upload my videos around uh, midnight Pacific Standard Time, and filming this at this time, it takes me about three hours to edit the video. I'm not going to get it done anywhere near that time, but, you know, it's just how things are working out, because, you know, I, I was having trouble sleeping last night. All of that information has nothing to do with this video, so I'm going to get right into it. So uh, last week I talked to you about bipolar disorder, and this week I'm going to talk to you about ADHD. The funny thing about uh, the ADHD is I was actually screened for it when I was about 10 years old, but a doctor said that I didn't have it because I was able to focus on something that I really enjoyed, and it's funny. Well, I'll give the guy a break because back then it wasn't really understood that well, but that's actually a, um, a symptom of ADHD in that it's hyper focus because ADHD is the inability essentially the inability to pay attention to something that you don't find interesting it's a low threshold for boredom so basically anything that was making me bored I just couldn't pay attention to my understanding of this disorder isn't as good but uh whenever I was reading about the symptoms whenever I was originally diagnosed with it it just resonated with me I'm like oh my god that's been me since I was like 10 years old because the issue was I've always loved learning but I only wanted to learn about things I found interesting at that time, so that's why, you know, I'd be reading Goosebump books whenever I was in math class, and, uh, I'd be reading, you know, video game magazines whenever I was in, you know, my language arts class. So, and I actually commented on Facebook about, it's inter interesting because, uh, I can walk 20 miles, you know, listening to the same song on repeat, you know, but keeping a gym schedule and, you know, doing homework is torture to me. And that's the prime example of ADHD, so I'm going to do like I did last time. Hopefully I'll be able to find a better list of symptoms now. Oh, so, uh, here's something new. I didn't realize this. There's actually three different types of ADHD. There's, uh, ADHD used to be made up of... Or, they used to be ADD and ADHD. They're now both combined, as far as I understood. And, uh, but the, the three different types are inattentive, hyperactive, and combined. The funny thing for me, the, the thing that really made me understand that, you know, I really what, did have ADHD was when I watched a video by Ryan Higa. Uh, he's a really famous YouTuber, uh, you know, his channel is Niga Higa. In fact, like, all of his all of his first videos went uh, viral. And, like, little things like, you know, I can't remember if I took out the trap. And, like, the fact that when I'm in classes, I have to make jokes constantly because sitting in a classroom paying attention to a teacher is just torture to me. Like and like I was saying with bipolar disorder, ADHD also, uh, panic attacks are a common symptom because uh, a person with ADHD, uh, their mind is always constantly racing. So uh, that's why like in chaotic, like it's a funny story actually, uh, recently I almost set my cafeteria, my college cafeteria is uh, on fire because uh, because I I was making a ramen noodle and I left the top on and it had metal on it and that caused a spark which caused my ramen noodles to catch on fire and I took care of the situation in about 10 seconds and I was perfectly fine but you know walking down the street with nothing to think about you know I'll start going crazy you know with thoughts running through my head and that's when a panic attack happens well that's kind of a narrow that's kind of a narrow example and definition but you know and I found a list of 10 symptoms. Uh, the first one is trouble getting organized. The thing is, as an adult, I forced myself to get organized, but that was a major issue when I was a kid. And it was weird. I would actually, like, do my homework, but not turn it in because I'd forget to. Um, reckless driving, but I don't drive, so I can't really tell you. I do know it used to piss me off when people would go the speed limit because I like driving fast, so I guess that's reckless driving. Uh, marital trouble. I've never been married, which... Might be because, partly because I have ADHD. It says poor listening skills. Uh, I've forced myself to get interested in what people are, are are talking about, so... Well, especially if someone's talking about something really interesting, because I'll, you know, I'll hyper-focus on what they're talking about. You know, back on uh, getting organized, uh, I know for me, because I do have such a, sh a horrible short-term memory, I'll do things like, if I'm about to go to school, or, you know, go to work, I'll leave, and I need to bring something with me, I'll put it in front of my door before I leave. Or I'll put, like, on my phone, I'll put it as, like, the wallpaper. Or I'll have a reminder set and, like, you know, have the notice with exclamation points. All right, extremely distractible. That is very true for me. Um, if you saw me doing this video without the uh, the edits, uh, I I look around a lot, like that. And uh, it's because I'm always, like, hyper aware of my surroundings. And, you know, just because I get bored really easily. All right, poor listening skills. I mean, we just talked about this one, but... It's something I've had to compensate, like, you know, it's hard for me to, like, pay attention watching a movie, but if I'm, like, actively reading something, then I'll understand it better. 
uh, restlessness, trouble relaxing. Um, one of the big reasons I drink, so uh, definitely. Like I was saying, I can listen to a song on repeat and uh, I hate sitting down. I mean, I sit down to make these videos and to study, but I also spend about five hours hours a night, you know, just walking around just because I get bored so easily, so yeah. Yeah, trouble starting a task. Um, I, I wouldn't really say I procrastinate a lot, but um, in, in a way, I kind of wait to the last minute and then I just focus on the task entirely because I like... The, I like having the urgency. That kind of excites me in a weird way. Lateness is a symptom, but for me, um, I was in the military, so I mean, you know, the military, I used to be late a lot when I was younger, but the military took care of that. Um, angry outbursts, um, anybody who's known me for a long time knows that, I mean, as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot better, you know, at dealing with that, but when I was younger, I had a lot of outbursts. That also goes along with bipolar disorder, so. See, I don't like this one, prioritizing. They say that people with ADHD will spend countless hours working on something that's insignificant, but, what if to the person with ADHD that actually is significant? Like, this YouTube video might be, you know, considered insignificant compared to my Japanese homework, but, you know, this is what I actually want to do. Yeah, so my understanding of ADHD isn't as good as it is of, like, bipolar disorder, so this video is a little bit less organized and a little bit less thorough, but, you know, I wanted to at least talk about it. So, as always, if you like my video, subscribe. If you like my music, buy it. If you hate me, tell everybody. Out. Pizza boy, pizza! Pizza Bonita. Pizza Bonita. Pizza Bonita.